YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Police seized thousands of alleged fake goods from Pacific Mall in Markham. For those that are watching from the Commonwealth, Markham is in Ontario. So, what is going on here? Uh, file photo, York Region Police execute a search warrant at Pacific Mall in Markham in, on June 27, 2018, looking for counterfeit goods. So, why is this article coming up on today's date? Let's find out. Police say they've charged eight people with and seized thousands of alleged fake goods at Pacific Mall in Markham. York Regional Police say they began investigating complaints about alleged counterfeit luxury clothing and handbags being sold out of the mall. They say the probe began in April last year. In late June, more than 30 officers raided seven businesses inside the mall and one store owner's home. Oh, wow. Police say the investigators met with re uh, representatives from numerous companies, including Adidas, Louis Vuitton, Dor uh, Dwar, and Givenchy. I don't even know if I said that right. Those companies alleged the majority of goods were counterfeit. Uh-oh. York police say the Department of Homeland Security, Canada's Border Services Agency, and New York Police Department help with the investigation. Holy smokes. How can you just just blatantly rip somebody off. Like, I have some stuff that... Okay, like, in my store, I have some systems, right? That are... That are that come from China, and they have, like, several built-in games. And I tell people... And, and I, I make it very clear to people. I'm just trying to see if I have them here. I have, like, these systems. Uh, this one's licensed by Sega. But I have other ones that I used to have here. They sold out right away with built-in games. Like, that's that's legit. That's legit. I'm just trying to find... Something I have here that, you know what I'm saying, right, guys? That have, like, the built-in games in them, and I don't have any more because I sold out. But, yeah, where you have the built-in games, and you, you play with it, and you... I tell people it's counterfeit. I tell people it's made in China. I tell people it's not authentic. It's I'm, I'm legitimately not passing it as a real thing. Obviously, you can. It's kind of hard, right, when the instructions come in Chinese. I tell people, and if you're honest, I'm very sure... They would see you're honest and say, look, this is a fake Louis Vuitton bag. It does look kind of real, uh, but I'm selling it a lot lower. This is what you get. This is what you pay for is what you get. But when passing things off as real, that sucks. The consumer must be stabbed. Like the, the consumer is stabbed in the heart when you do that. I, as a consumer, I feel like this is like, what do you, why would you do that to me? It's like, it's phenomenal. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why people like like to push counterfeit goods it it, it brings the, the the brands get involved and then now you're looking at huge uh, uh lawsuits and stuff and then and then they raided somebody's home wow imagine how oh, this is my living room it's filled with gucci bags or you know we're we're sewing them downstairs in the basement and i got a whole team of uh, people that came over and uh, they're helping us out here you know what what's going on people let me know what you guys think comment below thanks for watching